ADOS. If you work on cars for a living, it's a four letter word you'd better understand. Learn why in today's Mighty Minute. More and more of the vehicles that are entering your shop are equipped with advanced driver assistance systems designed to protect the driver from their own distractions. You know, like reading the newspaper during rush hour traffic or not being able to take their eyes off of their cell phone. These are the advanced driver assist systems, otherwise known as ADOS. And the term incorporates a variety of systems ranging from blind spot monitoring active collision avoidance, adaptive cruise control, park assist, and many, many others. Now these systems can be passive, warning the driver to take action, or active, actually taking action when the driver doesn't. And while you may decide that you will never ever get involved with the repair or service of any of these systems, you don't have to to impact how they operate. Let me explain. Many of these systems rely on cameras and or radar sensors to act as the eyes of the car. And just like you, in order for them to work properly, they have to maintain 20-20 vision and, most importantly, they have to look in the correct direction. Now consider some of the work that you perform regularly on your customers' vehicles. Alignments, for example can alter the direction the forward-facing radar is pointing to, and that will alter how the lane departure warning system, the active cruise control system, and the forward collision avoidance system will function. And performing any routine repair or service that requires the removal and reinstallation of any of the radar or camera units will most certainly require a recalibration of that system. How are the recalibrations performed? The short answer is that some are calibrated statically using OEM specific targets that the camera or radar can look for. This method of calibration requires a scan tool capable of performing the calibration and also requires a lot of clear level space, a luxury most shops don't have. And failure to perform the calibration is not an option. So what are your next steps? Well first, make sure that you and your team get formal training on ADOS. Most importantly, how to recognize when a routine repair or service you're already performing may affect how those systems operate. Second, decide how you're going to handle these calibration needs in your shop. You may form a partnership with some of the local dealers in your area, for example, or with other shops. Or you may enlist the aid of a trained mobile technician who is equipped to perform these services for you. So don't shove the future aside, embrace it. And I'll see you next time on The Mighty Minute.